the major reason for women with different breast sizes has been found. A single gene and its variants are linked to women's boob sizes. A single genetic mutation, which result in an amino acid change in a cell membrane protein, from amino acid residue of valine to alanine, made 95% of women carrying this gene variant have small breasts. Google once used various data and created a map of the breast sizes of women by country around the world. Color is used as a distinction, where the small A cup in green, and all the way to the large E cup in red. Women in Russia, the United States, Colombia, Venezuela and Sweden topped the list. Ladies in Asian and African countries are on the opposite end of the scale, with A cup and B cup averages. And this is obviously not in line with our sexual choices. When choosing a mate, men are more inclined to choose the opposite sex with larger cups. In this case, why do women in East Asia evolutionarily selected a phenotype of small breasts? The answer is genetic mutation and positive gene selection. There are many factors that affect breast development, including nutrition, diet, and genes. The main reason for small breasts in East Asian women and other ethnic groups, however, is a genetic mutation. About 50,000 years ago, a single DNA nuclei acid mutation occurred in the ectodysplasin A1 receptor, the ETA or gene, in people lived in the Central Asia. This mutation resulted in a gene variant of the ectodysplasin A1 receptor, called 370A. The estimated time since fixation of the 370A gene allele is the mode of the distribution, around 10,740 years before present. This gene mutation changes the amino acid at the number 370th residue in the ETA or protein. From normal valine to alanine. Where the single letter code for valine is V. So the normal type is called 370V. Alanine code is A. So the variant is called 370A. People in places like Europe and America have normal expression of 370V. And their breasts are nowhere near that small. And women with 370A, no matter how big their breasts are, they are nowhere near as big. The 370A variant presents at high frequencies in Asian and indigenous American populations but absent in others. Its frequency is intermediate in populations of Mexican ancestry. The 370A gene appears in a very high proportion in the Han ethnic group of Chinese population, as high as 95%. If you want to know whether you carry the gene, you can lick your incisor teeth and check if there are grooves in the middle of your incisors. The teeth with grooves are called shovel-shaped incisors. If you have shovel incisors, then congratulations, you carry the flat chest gene. The ectodysplasin A1 receptor is a membrane protein with roles in the development and growth of, of several tissues. It not only controls boob size, but also controls a variety of human traits including teeth, sweat glands, thicker hair, etc. In ethnic group of Latino ancestry, people carrying the 370A variant had significantly higher plasma triglycerides, VLDL, ALT, challenge glucose, and a higher prevalence of prediabetes and diabetes. Gene mutations are very common in nature. If a mutated gene is beneficial to the survival of the organisms, then it will have a higher probability to be preserved. So positively selected. And inversely, the harmfully mutated genes are usually discarded by natural selection, and neutral genes have a certain probability to be kept. To test the biological consequences of the variant 370A, scientists have done experiments on mice. The mice have the EDA or gene but they naturally express the 370V gene allele. When mouse natural 370V was changed to the 370A variant, it was found that, no matter which type they carried, either 370V or 370A, the lifespan and fertility of the mice did not change, indicating that the small breast variant 370A gene does not affect the survival, reproduction, so it is not a harmful gene. 
However, the conversion from 370V to 370A resulted in mice having thicker hair and more sweat glands, which corresponds well with the human phenotypes. The tooth structure of mice is different from that of humans, so mice experimental data didn't give any reference on this point. After further research, Scientists found that the small breast 370A variant gene affects the density of breasts, the size of breast fat pads, and the number of breast tube branches. Mice with the 370A variant gene have shrinking mammary fat pad, but have increased density of mammary tube branches, overall resulting in smaller breasts. From the point of view of evolution, every biological phenotype is usually linked to a reason. So, why select the small breast gene? Humans expanded within and out of Africa between 50,000 and 100,000 years ago, and now inhabit radically different physical and cultural environments around the globe. A long-standing question in anthropology has been, how have humans genetically adapted to these environments? Genetic mutations are very common during evolution across all species. But why is this 370A spreading across East Asia? Some scientists believe that the gene must be a favorable gene. Because it can spread to the entire East Asia and the Native Americans in just 35,000 years. Indicating that the gene can help human beings survival and reproduction. This 370A variant controls metabolism and multiple traits. Associated with thick hair, shovel-shaped incisors more sweat glands, more branches of mammary glands, and enhanced cellular survival signaling pathways. Then, which trait of these is more conducive to human survival? At present, there are two hypotheses. One is that, the increase of mammary branches is more conducive to people's survival. The study believes that people living in high latitudes have difficulty obtaining ultraviolet light and ultraviolet light can help synthesize vitamin D. Adults may be able to obtain it through food, etc. However, babies cannot get the nutrients they need from food, and all the nutrients they need come from breast milk. If breast milk contains insufficient vitamin D, babies will suffer from rickets. In this case, the benefits of increased branching of the mammary glands arise which can increase the vitamin D and fat content of breast milk, allowing babies to survive in high-latitude environments. But this theory is obviously contradicting the facts that Rasa women, lived in further northern latitudes, top the boob cup listing on average. Others believe that the increase in sweat glands is more conducive to people's survival. They believe that in the past, in the hot and humid southern parts of East Asia, more sweat glands means better heat dissipation capacity, which would be more conducive to their hunting and gathering. However, it is also possible that a combination of genomic actions at a much large scale, caused the selection of the 370A gene variant as a collateral change to spread in East Asian populations, and gradually become the mainstream gene, so make women in the East Asia have smaller breasts. Looking at the boob map, is it possible that, selection of 370A gene variant may be related to lifestyle, food and culture, as well as environment such as soil chemical elements? Can you do something to manage your boob size regardless of the EDA or genetic types? The answer is yes, there are ways to control gene expression and actions by various methods, we'll discuss this in other topics later. We can learn two things from breast size control gene story. It can be seen gene mutations at key sites of its sequence may cause a series of chain reactions. Inishant, because humans in different regions face different survival pressures, so that people in different regions had different mutant genes. If people in different parts of the world do not have reproductive communications for a long time, the accumulation of variant genes in different regions will also lead to reproductive isolation. Nowadays, transportation is convenient and chance of reproductive exchanges between regions are improved, however marriage within the same ethnic group is still dominant.